Hi, how are you doing? Morgan Tim, Papa K. Today we're going to be looking at a long-term test, really, of the Council of Vapor Phoenix ceramic tank. I'm just going to go straight into the close-up, strip all this down, and then we'll come back up and discuss the pros and the cons. Okay, guys, so straight to the close-up. Right then, we're going to take a look at this uh, Council of Vapor Phoenix tank. This is a new design. I've had this tank now ooh, two and a half months. I purchased it from Vapor Boutique for £32.99. Um, I was at the Vapor Boutique for the UK USC e liquid competition prior to Expo. And Andy Redbeard, that works there, uh, basically said, Have you tried the Phoenix yet, Keith? And I'm like, No, didn't interest me. They were using it on testers on the counter of their shop, and the flavour that was being produced from this little basically a little uh, ceramic sub ohm tank was fantastic so I thought well I'm going to try it then he told me you can't replace the coil heads it's got a built in ceramic coil head that's supposed to last up to three months so this is now two and a half months later two and a half months later and we're going to look at this tank so let's have a look at the box first here we have the phoenix within the, the clamshell box the Council of Vapour, Council of the Vapour, your links, and in the back we have the Council of Vapour Phoenix, made by the USA, designed developed by Council of Vapour Los Angeles, California, USA, but made in China. Made by the USA, but made in China. Okay, right, let's open the box. And here we have the Phoenix itself, if I can get it out. Right, you've got these removable silicon covers, which are, yeah. I prefer not to use the silicon covers on the Phoenix, I prefer it without. So this is the tank itself. You've got an adjust, well, it's not adjustable, the juice flow control. You basically just shut it off by holding these knurls here, holding the bottom of the tank, and then come on shut that off there we go a bit stiff right and that should pop off now there we go oops you fill it in through the top just taking the grommet off there you go. Silicon grommet at the top. The AFC at the top is 10 millimeters by two mil two millimeters Cyclops design, one on each side. So whatever you adjust that airflow to, it'll be exactly the same on the other side. And the air the airflow travels down the barrel into the coil and then back up the bottom. You can remove the glass like so. There we go. And this is the coil. You can see that that's cotton that's surrounding the ceramic to help soak in the juice into the ceramic coil. You can see it's a bit dark brown. I mean, that has been two and a half months and you can't replace it. This technically is a disposable tank. On the bottom, we've got the Council of Vapour established 2013 Phoenix. You can unscrew the bottom like so. And you've got a silver plated pin here. Take that out. And there's your wires for your coil that goes into the ceramic. What else is in the box? Because we'll need this. Put this over here just now. Right. As you can see, I have a broken glass tank. That was the original glass tank I had on the Phoenix. Didn't drop it. What happened was I was taking it off, taking the tank off as I was cleaning it, and the tank just shattered, just basically just popped and broke. So that's going in the bin. So, so be very careful when you're taking your tanks apart and taking the glass off. Because that glass does seem to be quite brittle. 
you've also got in here a stainless steel drip tip with almost like a turbine effect and a spit back design you get a black Delrin one with the same sort of anti spit back design and you get a white one so you get three dip, drip tips in total you also get a brush Certificate of authenticity, a little warning regarding filling and not dry burning it. You've got your start guide here. And I think there's a picture diagram as well. You know, adjust the airflow, unscrew the top cap, fill it up and clean the coil. Right, this is your little brush for cleaning. Now what I do is I run this under cold water, cold water tap, just run it and then just give it a clean. As I said, I've been using this now two and a half months and no issues. I was a bit shocked at first when I found out it was actually a disposable tank in theory, thirty-two ninety-nine. but you know, if I keep cleaning it, and it keeps working, I'm quite happy. The only thing I'm not happy about is this colour with the cotton on the outside. If you could replace that, that would be great. But let's put this back together. Put this on like so. That glass is very tight, so be careful. Pop our pin back in. That's actually a 510 pin as well, this. You cannot use this on a hybrid device. It doesn't protrude enough to go on a hybrid. It's not adjustable. As you can see, it's almost flush with the bottom of the 510. So you're not going to be putting this on any hybrid devices, so don't even think about it. The wattage range for this 0.5 ohm coil is between 50 and 120 watts. I like to vape it around about 80 watts. It's my comfort for this coil, it's about 80 watts. What's that on? Right, we're going to put some Appluminati Knights Templar into this tank, seeing that I got it from Vapor Boutique, and this is one of Vapor Boutique's most popular uh, e-liquids. Now to fill it up, you can see there's a little band, so you don't want to fill it above that, because it only holds 2 mils of uh, e-liquid. It helps I've got the juice flow shut. There we go. just up to that band don't go above it you end up with juice everywhere to only hold two mils and 80 watts so that's not it doesn't last long at all there's cutouts there and there Let's line up together like so push down and then turn and as you turn that you're opening up the juice flow so that juice is going to go into that nice black cotton but that cotton is not burning, it's the ceramic that's holding the liquor, or holding the e-liquid. Not actually that cotton, that cotton is just helping push and hold the e-liquid onto the ceramic coil. So the coil itself is not actually burning this. Ugh. We'll pop the stainless steel on. Like so. Right, it's 22 millimetres in diameter. And it's 52 millimetres in height. And these drip tips are about you know, 14 millimetres in height. It's a very short, almost RDA sort of style. When I first saw it, I thought it was a dripper. Because uh, it is very, it's a very squat, short tank. Council of Vapour inscribed on the side. 0 0.5 ohms. This, I mean, in my opinion, I have to say that this ceramic coil head is one of the best I've ever tried. It is such a clean, pure flavour that you're getting from it. I mean, I've tried ceramic coils last year and uh, a lot of them I didn't enjoy. But this Phoenix 
It's such a pure flavour and the vapour quality is fantastic. Right, let's pop back up and discuss pros and cons. Okay, so that was a close-up of the Phoenix by Council of Vapour. Now, <clears throat> one con is the cotton. As you can see from there, it looks pretty black, very black, but it's not affecting the flavour at all. I mean, I've had custards in here, I've had high VG juices in here, I've had... <clears throat> the great thing with this is once your tank's empty and you put another flavour in, you get about three or four puffs and then straight away you're going straight into a new flavour. It's not... The ceramic isn't saving, it's not a... Uh, lingering on the coil really you have your previous juice i've put lots and lots of different flavors different types of juices in here and every tank full has been very clean very fresh it's just that as you can see the cotton it's black what i am thinking is i might get some milton uh, sterilization fluid and actually soak the coil in milton overnight and see how that goes that might clean the cotton i have tried to brush the cotton but to no avail it's still very dark it looks worse because it's wet. It's actually like a light brown when it's dry. <clears throat> um, another con, yeah, it's disposable. Uh, you can't replace the coil heads at all. I know that Council of Vapor are talking about releasing a new inner section, but if this tank's around about the £30 mark, how much is that section going to be? Don't know yet, if they are going to release one. I've had no issues with cleaning it once a week and keeping that really fresh, crisp flavour. Vapour quality. I've currently got it at 85 watts and it is throwing the vapour. The flavour is really good as well. I mean the flavour is so clean. It's a very, very clean flavour. There was no bedding in the coil when I first got it. It was straight away full flavour. No metallic taste, no sort of powdery taste, just really fresh, clean, whatever you're vaping your juice, that's what you're tasting. So that's a huge big pro. Produces the vapour really well. Pros, you're getting three drip tips. You get the stainless steel, the black delver and the white uh, delver. Uh, it comes apart very easily. One con is that that glass tank did break. When I was taking the glass tank off a couple of weeks ago to clean it, it just popped, literally just fractured and popped. Um, but you do get a spare glass tank with the box. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, it's around about the £30 mark, so people out there are like, hmm, it's a disposable tank, £30, that's a lot of money. If you're going to get months and months and months out of this, and you think what you're paying for standard coil heads for something like the Heracles Plus, your Atlantises, uh, your I sub G's, um, it's sort of ways up. It's actually it's a good buy. Um, you're, you're going to be putting out the same sort of money for coil heads. So yeah, overall, I, I like the Phoenix. I mean, as I said, two and a half months I've been using it now. No issues apart for that broken glass tank and the black cotton, but it's not affecting the quality of the vapor at all. It just looks meh. Uh, I don't like these red silicon o-rings, I, mean, I don't like them at all, I like it just clean and you know stainless, it's, it, it looks really good, it is actually a very attractive looking tank, the AFC, it actually locks, didn't show that in a close up, so it doesn't spin right round, uh, it's dead easy to take apart, very easy to fill and in my opinion, I think it's an excellent tank. I think Council of Vapour have done, you know, the first ever really good quality ceramic coiled tank. Excellent. Mmm. That's stunning. The flavour is fantastic. Anyway, big thanks to Chris Casimus Kaz from Vapour Boutique and to Andy Redbeard Mitchell for basically pointing me in the direction of the Phoenix. Thank you very much. Big thumbs up. You know, it's, it's a long-term test. Um, I'm happy with it, and I will keep vaping it. But as I said, I'm going to try soaking it in Milton one night just to see if I can clean that cotton up. Uh, so watch my Facebook group, uh, Papa K Presents, for updates on how that cotton does clean in the milk. 
Right, just before I go, I've found out that actually the Council of Vapour are now selling the coil section. I'll just stick it there. Now, it's $23.95 in the United States. I've not seen them in the UK yet, but yes, Council of Vapour are just selling the coil, the centre section, basically. So you need your top cap, your bottom cap, your glass. So yes, there is a replacement out. It's expensive, yeah, $23.95. I don't know what that would be in the UK, but yes, so... Just a little addendum to the end of this video. Cheers. Anyway, that was the Council of Vapor Phoenix tank. Yeah, I like it. How long it will continue to be good, I don't know. But anyway, it's a good tank and it's well worth the buy, I think. It's well worth the experience of a good ceramic coil. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Speak to you all soon. Take care. Ta-da!